Hi, Trevor here. This is part one in my series of how to do a rolling upgrade from server 2012 R2 to server 2016. What we're doing is we're going from a seven node R2 cluster to a two node Hyper-V cluster on server 2016. So we have our failover cluster manager, our cluster name, our roles, our nodes, our storage. I'm going to be reusing cluster node HV01 in the new cluster configuration on server 2016. So my procedure here is to pause and drain the roles from this node and then we're going to evict it once everything's been verified. So we're going to pause and drain the roles now. Um, we have a service running on it. The AV is running on this node. So when we go to drain the role, it's going to do a live migration off of HV01 and onto another node. So go here. Going to pause, drain roll. And when I go to my roles here, you can see it's doing a live migration. And then once that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that system from the cluster and then I'm going to upgrade it with server 2016 and reconnect it. When we reconnect that node, we will be working in what's known as mixed OS mode and Microsoft has a limit that you should not be working for more than four weeks in this type of configuration but we will only be working in it for about maybe a day or two and that's what we're going to do now even though the um, one of the nodes has been uh, paused and the role drained. To back up our failover cluster, uh, we need to back up the state of our Hyper-V servers and then the state of the virtual machines. Because we're going to be just removing one node, we're going to uh, skip this part and we'll do a BSS copy of the new Hyper-V servers once uh, that's all done. So we have paused the role, the node here. So to verify we don't have anything running in the background or any updating going on, we open up PowerShell type in get C A U run and there's no currently running process on the cluster supplement and what we're going to do next is we're going to drain or evict um, the server that we want to upgrade now, typically, we would disable the cluster aware updating to do this, but we're kind of doing what we're doing is we're going from a seven node cluster to a two. So we're going to keep the cluster running and then we're going to migrate the virtual machines from the current cluster and then evict once server 2016 gets put on and the second node installed we're going to be evicting and removing the smaller less powerful nodes uh this server
So we're going to evict this server from our cluster. And I'm very sure that uh, I don't have any clustered roles uh, that need to run off of this. So now that we're evicting our node from the cluster, we'll get server 2016 installed and then we'll add it back in. So we'll just check our storage. So we can see all our storage is on all our other nodes. Don't have any pools. And our node is now evicted. And now we can go ahead and upgrade it and reconnect it to our cluster once it's been updated to server 2016.